Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Pass. Coming up are highlights from Ireland's game against Scotland in round one of the Six Nations Championships and exclusive interviews from all three Ireland camps. Let's get straight to the action with the doubleheader at Broadwood Stadium, where both the Ireland women and the Ireland under-20s were in action. You know, it was, with, with 10 minutes to go, it was... Uh... It, it, it was it was in the balance really, and I just thought the try that we scored uh, that just got our nose in front. It was crucial, but you know it came from 40 meters out, and I said it was a real team try, and I said it came at such a vital time. Uh, and even after that, we had to defend like hell, and uh, you know the character of the side. It was the first game together. Most of them, it's the first time playing international rugby for some of those guys. Uh, and for us, we look, we're just going to take the positives out of that. There was a lot of ugly bits and pieces, but uh, if we can focus on the positive, and it's certainly a good starting point. I think it was a tough night. I mean. Overall, will be there was parts to it that were that were really good, and then there's parts you know that we can fix and look at going into next week. But on the whole, I think you know tonight was for us about getting the win, building that momentum in this competition, and you know we're really happy with that. First game of Six Nations with a new squad, it's always going into the unknown a bit, and you know that can that can provide ups and downs and whatnot. We knew there was going to be mistakes tonight, we knew things were going to go wrong, but we knew it was how we were going to react from that, and you know we showed good resolve at the end, kept our heads, and luckily got the result. It was a team performance tonight in tough conditions, and you know happy to get the win. Well, obviously, we don't know much about Italy yet. We, you know, uh, for now, look, we just need to tighten up a few bits and pieces here. But I thought there's some outstanding individual performances. Uh, you know, we're going to have to look for those guys to, to back it up again next week. Very important. But uh, again, if we can focus on ourselves and, and again, little things that didn't go so well, if we can improve on that, I think we'll be a difficult side, uh, certainly to, if, if not to play against, but to beat. It didn't look like we were going to get um, anything out of the game for long periods. But uh, great credit due to the girls, you know, we um, we got out of jail there tonight and, um, you know, we just, we take the five points. Um, that's That was the goal coming over here to Scotland, obviously the weather conditions and uh, the way Scotland played against us, um, you know, put it really up to us and uh, to come away with five points is very, very pleasing. Uh, but we have to improve for next week against Italy because uh, that's going to be a very, very tough game. We watched them play a couple of weeks ago against Spain. Um, obviously losing out, a uh, big disappointment for them losing out to Spain um, in the World Cup qualifier. Um, so we knew they'd be hurting from that and wanting to, to put in a big performance and we were first up for them. So obviously a yeah, huge performance from them, so all credit to them, they really put it up to us. We didn't make it easy for ourselves in any way, shape or form, but um, yeah, definitely huge character shown by, by 1-23. to 23. The, I thought the subs that came on made a huge impact as well. Kira O'Connor made some uh, great bursts up the middle, particularly in the, those last couple of phases. Um, and I thought the backs and forwards worked really well for that last score. So yeah, huge, huge character, huge resilience. Yeah. You know, we, we spoke about it before the matches, we spoke about it at half time, you know, our, our, our turnover rate and our penalty count, um, you know, just stops us from actually um, getting ourselves into the game and the style of rugby that we want to play. Um, and that's, there, there'll be two key areas for us. Um, I thought the set piece was uh, very, very dominant, which was, uh, which was great to see. Um, and I suppose the, the never say die attitude of the players was, um, we, we, it's, it, well, it's a characteristic of the squad anyway. And to, to realise that we weren't playing well and to stay, stay in the game and actually give themselves a chance at the end is uh, very, very pleasing and it's um, you know it's it's just one of those days um, you get those days and um, and but the thing the key is now that we actually bounce back next week and put in a, a performance of, of value Ireland recorded their first loss to Scotland since the 2013 Six Nation Championship at Murrayfield at the weekend here are the highlights from the game and we get reaction from the camp as the team turns its attention to Rome
Gavin as his tackle are not releasing clearly. Just check if he's in touch. Okay. Yeah, it's enough to an obvious. We we award the try. You can award the try, yes. Thank you, Glenn. Time off? Paul, is it time off? Yeah, that's 40 minutes. Green. Richie, obviously a disappointing start to the championship for Ireland, but have you digested what went wrong in the match first? Yeah, we've had a good look at it uh, over the last 24 hours. Uh, obviously very disappointing uh, start. Uh, the Scots were very good and we always knew going over there that it was going to be very tough, but uh, we felt we let ourselves down. And you've identified obviously key areas to work on this week. Yeah, we've picked up a few things that 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 we can get right. Uh, going over to to um, to Rome is going to be very difficult. Obviously, uh, they, they put it up to Wales for long periods of that game. So, you know, we can't go in, go into the game with the same situation as last week where we were too slow out of the block. So we, we just got to really get a good start and, and and stay in the moment. Italy were very hard to break down at the weekend for for a lot of the game. Does that mean patience is a key thing this week? Yeah, definitely. But uh, I think accuracy is going to be a key thing for us as well. Like, you know, we, we had a look through our video and we've seen a lot of situations where we created opportunities and weren't, weren't able to take them. So uh, we're just going back to the going back to good, our good basics and uh, what, what, what we build our game on and, and try and get that right for this week. Obviously, the lads were very disappointed. At what stage did they sort of park that and say, right, on to the next job? Well, it's now really, you know, the, the, once the reviews happened, uh, people, we don't look back anymore. More. It's all about looking forward to, to Italy and uh, getting things right. So, you know, the training's just about to start here now. Uh, it's all about focusing on Italy and uh, on, on trying to get our sort of championship hopes back on, on track. Got a squad update here. Um, a lot of the guys were bruised, uh, both mentally and physically, after the weekend. Um, Tyg Furlong has a bruised shoulder, but he'll be fine and he'll be well able to train today. Um, Peter Romani is progressing well following his hamstring issue and will recommence running today. Donica Ryan and Finlay Bielan, they both trained fully at the end of last week and they'll be fully available this week. 
Andrew Trimble has progressed well and he's expected to train later today. Andrew Conway, his rehab is growing issue uh, and he'll train later today. Andrew, I spoke to him last night, he was very positive, uh, can't wait to get involved. Johnny Sexton, another very positive guy. Uh, Johnny is continuing his rehab um, and his progress will be monitored across the week. Um, but he's, he's back running, which is very positive. Uh, Johnny, as you well know, he'd, Johnny would play today if we'd let him, but we have to monitor, monitor his recovery and make sure that he's, he's fine. Yeah, we, we just had it there. We had a couple of sessions. Um, had a, a group one last night, actually, and we had our units today. So, um, as you can imagine, it wasn't pretty viewing in, in some of the areas. Um, pretty frustrating looking back on it as a group. I think, you know, we're we're looking forward to this weekend to to right a few wrongs. So, um, but yeah, as, as I said, it was um, disappointing overall. I think it all comes down to to our start and how we how we started the game. We felt a little bit flat. I think as as a group in in the game, we um, we gave we gave that Scotland team. Um, a bit of time and space on the ball, and and they punished in, punished us in the wider channels, with Stuart Hogg going over twice. So, um, as I said, our, our spacing and our defence was a bit narrow in the first half. And if you look at the second half performance in our defence, it was we got it spot on, and they didn't really threaten us. So, it all came down to our start in the end, and um, defensively, our, our we we uh, were very narrow in our spacing, and we fixed that at half time, but. As I said, if, if we started how we started the second half in the first half, I think the result would have been different. A little bit of everything, a bit of, bit of indiscipline. Uh, we gave away a couple of soft penalties around rug time. We were sloppy with the ball in, in certain areas when we were, you know, when we were camped on the line late, late in the second half, and we had a chance to go and, and get that fourth try, and, and we didn't. But um, yeah, it was, it was, um, there was a few things. And, you know, we, we had a few, few breaks breaks in play as well where we could have went to pitch and there, there was a slap down there I think which which was missed by the officials and that could have changed the game as well so you know there's um there's a number of things where you know things didn't go our way and we have ourselves to blame for that we we give away a few sloppy penalties and give them easy access. Tune in next week as we review the action from the three games in Italy and get the latest insight from the Ireland camps. To keep up with all the goings on in Irish rugby, make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.